When I'm taping some paper to my backing board and hence to my drawing board, uh, that's how I have it set up. My drawing board, which is the hard board with the clips on it, that comes first. And then I use a piece of foam core, usually black, and then I tape a piece of white paper to it. So in that way, the camera can read both black and white to find the white balance and get the correct color, or as close as possible to the correct color. Then, I usually lay it down on a table, but I want to show here. Um, with UART, because it curls, I will take off a piece of tape from my tape roll like this. Then I will set the tape on the paper to hold that curl down, just near the edge there. Then I go in about a quarter of an inch. That should be fine to cover the rabbit of a frame and to hold down the paper in case you decide to use some sort of liquid. Just before I finish, I curl the edge back this way upon itself so that when I go to remove the tape, it'll be easy. And when I, you know, easy to pick up and I don't have to scrape. I don't have great fingernails because I am a pastelist. They're short and um, this way I can pick up that tape easily and pull it away at about a 45 degree angle as I remove it. That way you're not going to be pulling into the paper and disrupting your painting. So, for taping, that's about it. There's other ways to tape as well. Which I Another way of taping is, and I already have glassine on this, but I use my painter's tape to hold the glassine down. That protects the painting when it's done. I guess I'll have to take it off to show. Come on. See, every little piece of tape has it's folded back. Not every, but most. Um, as you notice in my backing board, that just pulled off some of that. I can only use this foam core maybe two or three times at the most. Often with paper, it'll get creases in it and you have to change it. This is a board. So in order to mount this board, in order to mount board, what we often do is turn it upside down, put a piece of tape on the back side. I usually do about halfway of the tape is on the board and halfway is not. Do that all around. Then I'm going to lose this other board. Turn it over, set it on your backing board, Take another piece of tape and cross only the tape. And that holds your board onto the surface as well as holding it onto the board that you're using here. So that is this situation I have here all the way around. One, one piece of tape from behind, halfway over, and the other piece of tape on the top holding it to the board. So the back tape holds the board and the top tape holds it onto your surface. The only tapes that I use are a natural toned masking tape, either the buff color or black. I never use colored tape because if you're using bleep, <laughs> because if you're using blue or green painter's tape on your painting, holding your painting, for instance, this, that blue is going to subconsciously affect all the colors on your painting and do not want to use colored tape, either buff or black.